Climate change has quickly become top of mind for a lot of people as extreme weather events like hurricanes and wildfires become more and more common across the globe. Many people point to the dependence on fossil fuels as a root cause of global warming and place the blame on large oil and gas companies such as ExxonMobil and BP. But what if we told you that oil and gas companies are actually fighting climate change? Global warming refers to the gradual heating of the Earth's surface, oceans, and atmosphere, which is caused by greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. While CO2 makes up the majority of greenhouse gases and gets most of the public attention, methane emissions are starting to become a focal point as technological solutions allow a fast and effective way to slow the rate of global warming in the near term. So what is methane? Methane is a primary component of natural gas and is used to produce electricity and heat around the world. It is also a major contributor to climate change, with roughly 33% of global warming being attributed to the gas, according to the Environmental Defense Fund. While CO2 can remain in the atmosphere for centuries, methane's atmospheric lifetime is only 12 years. However, methane is 80 times stronger than CO2 when it comes to trapping heat within the Earth's atmosphere, which creates devastating consequences. Where does methane come from? Methane is emitted from both natural and man-made sources. Natural causes, like swamps and volcanoes, account for 9% of emissions, while human activities, like coal mining, manure management, and landfills, make up 35%. The two leading producers of methane are cows and the oil and gas industry. In the oil and gas industry, the bulk of methane emissions come from the production sector, where oil and gas is extracted from the earth. This is what has led to high scrutiny of oil and gas companies and caused the Obama administration to enforce methane regulations on the oil industry in 2016 to cut methane emissions in half by 2025. Despite the opposition from companies such as Shell, BP, and ExxonMobil, the Trump administration repealed the methane regulations in 2019 in an effort to save the oil industry money on compliance costs. Shell's U.S. President Gretchen Watkins said, The negative impacts of leaks and fugitive emissions have been widely acknowledged for years, so it's frustrating and disappointing to see the administration go in a different direction. Shell has joined forces with other oil and gas companies to form the Oil and Gas Climate Initiative, or OGCI. The members account for nearly 30% of global oil and gas production and collectively invest $7 billion each year in low-carbon solutions. They have created a $1 billion fund to invest in startups and technologies that accelerate the decarbonization in oil and gas, industry, and commercial transport. So what are some of the technologies that oil and gas companies are investing in? Drones have become a popular method for visual inspection of various types of facilities. Companies like Seacops attach methane sensors to the commercial drones to survey well sites. Once the sensors detect a methane leak, their proprietary software then quantifies the amount of methane being leaked and maps it into their software thanks to the onboard GPS. The leaks are then graded based on severity to provide companies with a clear plan of action on resolving and eliminating the issue. If companies need to survey a much larger area, satellite technology can be used. Satellite providers like GHGSat can detect all types of greenhouse emissions via satellite for any site in the world in just a matter of days. This data is then used to provide a unique analysis of the site, such as emission rates, trends, and leak alerts. Tracking emissions and staying on top of leaks can become quite a challenge when there are numerous data sets from drones, satellites, and IoT sensors. This is where software applications like Geosite are being used to help give companies a comprehensive view of where they stand with their current emission programs. Geosite software offers a methane emissions detection base map that updates weekly, giving oil and gas companies actionable insights into high emission events, such as significant methane leaks. While the oil and gas industry has historically been one of the largest contributors to methane emissions, the Environmental Defense Fund has found thousands of oil and gas sites that have zero methane emissions at all. This shows that oil and gas can be produced with zero methane leaks, and thanks to initiatives of groups like the OGCI and technological solutions being developed by innovative startups, eliminating leaks in the industry is closer to becoming a reality. If you like videos like this, please take two seconds, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content.